if you have been following me for a while, you know that nowadays a lot of my work is involving a lot of project management and making sure that everyone that we are hiring to do work for us and getting all these new clients, everything is aligned properly so that projects can be done on time and that the outcomes are what our clients are looking out for. So one of the tools I've been using a lot lately is Trello. And in this video, I'm going to show you two of the Trello boards that I'm using almost every single day to run our design studio. So if you are interested, stay tuned. Before we dive in into any of these Trello boards, I want you to make sure that you are using the tools that are easy for you to use, that you can afford, and most importantly, that your clients know how to use. And one of the reasons for this is that sometimes we try to add all these new toolkits or, tool or tech stack to our studios, and we end up think making things a lot more difficult. So for me, it is easier to use Trello than Notion or any other tech stack because my clients are using this almost every day. They are using this to manage their products, to build their products, and so much more. So with that being said, let's get into the Trello boards. So we have two main Trello boards. One is going to be the one that's taking care of all the design subscriptions part of things. And the second one is going to be the one that we're using for all our website design projects. And this one is a template that I'm creating and I'm going to be posting it online soon. Um, but let's get into the first one because this is the one that most people are using, that are working with us are using. And it's super simple, um, super straightforward. There's nothing crazy about this. Um, and that's the whole point of this, is to make it so easy that no one has to think about what it is that they are doing. And I'm gonna show you here. So um, the first thing that I have here is how, is like their starting guide, like what it is that they need to do, how to use this. I'm going to give them a video like this, just going over the three or four um, cards that we have here and how they're going to be using this. The second thing is anything that it's a design file, for example, that we did for them or that we requested from them, is going to be added here. The third thing is going to be all the brand guidelines or so anything that we need to be able to design something for them. A lot of our clients or the ones that we're working with right now already have all this set up. So it's really easy for them to go ahead, drop the PDFs or the Adobe Illustrator files or Figma files here and then we are able to take it from there. And then we have here like manage design subscriptions and this is because um, this is a month month engagement, it's not a long term contract so they should be able to come here and cancel it or upgrade or do whatever that they need to do um, on a project management from their end. Um, and if you think about this whole um, template structure for the Trello port, you may have seen other design subscriptions businesses using something like this. Um, it is the best way to do it, super simple to get it done. Um, and then pretty much once they have seen everything here, we take them over to the backlog. And in the backlog is all the tasks, all the design tasks, all the development tasks, everything that comes to their mind on a month-to-month -month basis that they want us to work on. And then we have our current request. These are the things that our team members are currently working on but we are working on prioritizing everything. So if a client has something on the backlog um, that requires to be done quicker or has a higher priority than something that we are currently working on, we will just switch over tasks. Um, and this way they know that if they need something to be done in like the next day or the next two days that requires a lot, a lot of more priorities, that will get done. Once we are finished with that, we go ahead and move it to approved and I'm actually missing one card here and this one that is for review and anything that goes for reviews for the clients will leave us feedback and comments um, and it will look something similar to this like when we're working on it. Uh, as you can see here we have like this was completed for review we have everything here. I cl the clients will leave us comments and anything else that we need from them. Um, one extra thing that I will add to any of this task is a countdown timer. And the reason for this, and you don't have to do it, this is just a free add-on on Trello, is that it gives the client the idea that you are working on something and that it will be done at this time. 
So I give you an example. I think on the website one, um, this one has a timer, right? And it, it just says that in 14 days, this should be finished. It also has a deadline here, but both can work. Um, this will just start to count down better. And that's pretty much it. I like to brand it just so that people know that they are working with us. And that's pretty much it. We check this every morning and every evening when we're wrapping up work. So like if a project or a task was completed, I come here and I add it and I type client or whoever said the task or with um, a script that I have created so that I don't have to think about what I'm going to be writing every day. And then that way, when I come in the morning, most likely we have reviewed um, feedback from the client. So then I move that back to current request. I send it to whoever is working on it and they get to work on it. And then I, all over again, at the end of the day, just come here. We add it again to a client review. They give us feedback. If all is good, then we move it over to approve. Then we move on to the next one. Then the second part that I'm using the most will be the website design projects. Um, template and this one I created it because I wanted to make sure that I'm not always trying to recreate anything that I do when it comes to designing websites and development so pretty much it tells me what is a meeting so anything with green will be a meeting that requires me and the client so kickoff meeting sitemap creation um, reviews of low fidelity wireframes content creation um, you can see here we have like high fidelity wireframe so this is like a second round of review then we have like the final review with the client. Then we have like the final sign off. So like once we do this, I know that there is no more um, design to be done on this. It's hundred percent approved and ready for development. And just from a project management side of things, um, I sometimes will copy this so that it's just between me and the team. And then I'm moving things over here. So like, I know like we're currently working on, uh, let's say we have a kickoff meeting. I will add it right here. I will also add like a countdown timer or a checklist within this cards where you will see that I will have some checklist and it again it's just so that I don't have to think about like everything that I have to do I know that I, this works and I did it before the way I think about it is like the less you have to think about things the easier it is for you and it is for your clients so here you will see like these are the things that I need from a client so I will go ahead and ask them about it and once I have received them I will go ahead and check 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 and then another example is like when I'm working with a designer who is working on this project, let's say he or she is finished with the design of the home page and the product pages, then they send that over to me. And what I will do is I will go through here and I will look for the different checklists that I have here. Um, and this will be mainly for a QA before I send it over to a client to make sure that at least from our point of view, it is a hundred percent ready for them to review. There are no errors. There are no Lauren Ipsum throughout the design. There's no um, different fonts throughout the website or anything like that. Um, and then that way it makes also the feedback rounds a lot easier with the client. I'm actually quite fast because there is very little that they will have to tell us to change. And most importantly, you don't want to look bad sending, the, sending a design to your clients that's not finished. Um, and this is pretty much it, guys. We are just going through each step of this when we're working on a website. Um, we start with our strategy so um, the client can also see this. It also allows you to look less risky because it looks like you have a process behind what it is that you do and how you do it. So we go through a strategy. We look at our design um, cards. We see what we're working on. Uh, when we go to Webflow development, if we're doing Webflow, we know what we're doing exactly. This also works for WordPress, Wix, Framer, you name it. Then I know exactly what we're going to do for a QA before we hand over everything to the client. We know exactly what we're going to do when we launch this website, the different things that we need to set up. Um, what's going to happen after we click publish? What are we doing support for the next 14 days for? And overall, it just makes our process much easier, on, um, not just on our end, but also for our clients to understand. So if you have found this content to be interesting and helpful, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you get a notification whenever I post the next video and I will see you on the next one.